Can you hear me? But it is a delay, so it'll take a while to. Settings, settings, camera. Ah, oh, someone can hear me. Yay. This is I've come off. I know. Can you hear me now? Don't cry. <laughs> I was crying. Not really. But it was a little frustrating. Thanks, everyone, for your patience. Now, I I do want to... Hang on a minute. I had a really good setup here before. That wasn't it. That's it. Add the stage. Adio. There we go. We're back. Now, I've got to say, that's the second time that's happened, so I'm going to blame Kelly just because she's here. Come on over, Kelly, and I'll just put us on here. So this is my friend Kelly Goldthorpe. She used to be a demonstrator. She's a good crafter. Hi, Glenda. So just in time, yes. So I have two Glendas. Hi, Mary Ann. Sharon. Um, who else? I think that's kind of it. Did you hear me say I just want to cry? <laughs> it does get a little frustrating. <laughs> so I will start from scratch again. But anyway, for those that don't know me, my name's Anne Lewis. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator based on the Sunshine Coast here in Queensland, Australia. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I teach both in person and online, card making and scrapbooking. Scrapbooking's been a little slow lately, but I'm about to go with it again. But thank you for letting me share my passion with you today. So tonight's a step-by-step -step video and I'm going to be showcasing the three best ever, in my view, um, simple card designs. So this has shifted because I took it off and it un unwound. Um, and I'll just show you what the projects are. Kelly's coming back because she's going to be making one of these cards with me. She is really looking forward to it, aren't you? I think yeah. you are, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and her mum might... Oh, I was going to say her mum is watching. She's Hi. there now. Hi, Margaret. How are you? So we have mum supervising, so I know Kelly won't play up on me tonight. <laughs> Um, anyway, again, I will do a random draw. So anyone who leaves a comment will go in the random draw um, and I will send them one of their favourite cards from today. So, Kelly, I'll put you... You're not going to be on... Well, wait a minute. Let's see if I can find... Here we go. Kelly, you're going to pick which card you would like to do. Um, Any of them? I think the celebrate one at the top looks nice. The easy. Celebrate one. They're <laughs> all easy. These are the best ever. Easy card designs. So you're going next to last. Oh, next That's to last. Card number three, because it's got a few layers. Okay. So I will start with my first card is this one. Crafting assistant. Will you help me with this? I will. Thank you. I'm trying not to work work or walk. Um, because I've um, got a sore knee and I'm trying to rest. Oh, look at this. She's being really helpful. 
so I'm not as hell. Oh, I thought she was going to hit me over the head. She wasn't as helpful as I thought. <laughs> she is. Um, so we're making this really, really simple card. And I'll show you a stepped up version of it. Now I'm using the delightfully eclectic um, designer series paper. And I want to show you. There's 48 sheets in this. And it is, you've seen me use it so many times. I've gone through two packs. There's been a bit of a fall here. But they're really pretty designs and lots of colours, lots of different colours. There's probably about, I'm going to guess, about 10 different colours in this. And I have loved it, loved it, loved it. And I thought, as this is actually half price at the moment so it's down from 50 I'm guessing $52 to $26.50 I think. Where's the pieces you had cut out? I don't know are they in here? Hmm. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh Kelly's just trying to scare me now. I don't know. Is there a card base in there? Like a white card base? Yes. Can... Thank you Miss Kelly. Oh, yeah. So this time I am using um, card, basic white cardstock, but I'm using the thick version. And the reason I've done this is it's what I would call a portrait card, so it opens up this way, so it sits up, needs a bit more strength than our normal um, card base when we do it like that. But they're nice for a change-up. It's nice to have a portrait. Um, nice to have landscape cards, so it always changes up what you what you're doing. I better just check. I've cut this to size, so I've cut it long ways, so it should be four and one eighth inches by eleven inches. Oops, sorry. Oh, I need to. I oh know you are on the desk, and this is shifting because it's got a mind of its own at the moment. When I took it off, I unscrewed it completely. And then in the rush, I didn't actually put it back exactly as it should have. And obviously, Kelly's crawling along the floor here, picking up all the stuff I dropped. So I'm scoring this at five and a half inches because it's a portrait card. And I'll grab my bone folder. Now, I've done this really, really simply. So I've cut a piece that is two and a half inches and it's got to be four and an eighth wide, so I need to cut this down. And hi, Lynette. How are you? Hi, Sharon. And Sharon said hello, Kelly. Hi, Sharon. Sharon lives in the big town of Gagango. Where? Where, Sharon? Where? <laughs> I think most people say that. Sometimes I get 50% of Gagango watching me. Oh, gosh. Is there any two people there? 14 houses. I'm not sure they're even all occupied. <laughs> Ideally. So this layer just sits down like that. Have I got any? Um, oh, there they are. I know. So I'm just grabbing my multi purpose glue. Where's your ink? My what? Ink for the stamp. Oh, it's in the other one. So it should be. Oh, I need the paper for that paper as well. Thank you. It's good having a helper. Lynette's good. I'm pretty good. It's, no, it'll have to be in there. There'll be a cut piece somewhere. Oh, yeah. So that's, I've just put down the first layer. I've just centered it, as I would say, roughly. And then I'm actually going to emboss this with the new embossing folder. It'll be in there. It'll be in the crate. crate. Yeah. Somewhere. There it is. That's it. Right, that piece there. See with the hole in it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. That piece. Oh, that piece. Okay. Right here. So we want to just emboss this, and I'm using the 
a new embossing folder. I'm hoping you can see this. And if it looks big in this picture, that's because it is super big. It is, I think, eight inches. I need to measure it. it might actually be 10 inches. Um, it is eight and a half inches by six inches. So it still fits through our cut and emboss machine, which is which is somewhere around here. This is really, really nice. I love this. And you can use it for so much. Just need a minute. And my plates are sitting over here, I think. Oh, look at this. This is so handy. Hopefully you can see this. So I'm on a 3D one, I'm going to put it like that. Kelly was going to wind this, but I don't think there's going to be enough room for that. So I'm putting the plate in. I want to curse this. Nobody's told me whether you heard me say I was going to cry if I didn't get that up and running before. But it was exactly what I said what someone put there, so I have a feeling you did pick it. So all I want to do is make sure that the stamping up label is on the top and I want to centre this. Now I get to choose how I centre it and probably put it under the camera. I don't know. So I'm kind of think I've got it right. So then I place it on the platform and then I have what I would call the embossing plate for 3D embossing folders. My arm is so much better than it used to be. I will fix this next week <laughs> so it doesn't do this. As I said, it unscrewed when I pulled it off in a rush. Think we might table. Do you want to tape that? See if that little bit of tape is not going. To... Oh, here, that might might fix it. Right, yeah. So I don't know. So that's the only embossing, etc. We're going to do, and I'll show you what it's turned out like. Thought it was my phone that had no sound. Finally found you. I'd like to say it was your phone, Gail, but no, it was my phone. It wouldn't connect tonight, but I've fixed it now. Mind you, my phone was about to go through the air, perhaps. I know. So this is how it now looks. Doesn't it look amazing? And it's perfect because I have round um, a sentiment on it. So... I've kept this nice and flat. I haven't added dimensionals to it. So I'm just going to use some of the multi-purpose adhesive. Then I'm going to because it's embossed, I will grab gently use my embossing folder just to make sure it's stuck because there's so many so much texture on it i don't want to press too hard otherwise i'll lose that nice embossing then i just have to do punch out now i just use the two inch punch for the background now i could use cardstock for this but I thought this was easier. So this is just from the delightfully eclectic paper. Now I need, I think this will do. So I'm going to stamp this really nice sentiment that says, now this is from the Pansy Patch um, stamp set, which is also retiring, but it's probably the one that isn't discounted and that's wholly and solely because it's so popular and you know I use this all the time um, 
because I love the sentiment. So the sentiment I'm using tonight is wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you. I'll put this down here. Hopefully I've got enough ink on it. I think I should have re-inked this. Perfect. You can see what a nice um, font it uses. So I'm using another punch. This is the one and three quarter inch punch. You could use dies for this. I just wanted to speed this up. And probably more people have circle dies and they may have punches. So how easy is this? Other than getting the video started, that wasn't so easy. <laughs> What's a lie without some technical difficulties? Yes, I see. Some of the really leading demonstrators have technical difficulties. and I, I, Not that I wish them upon them, but I kind of feel, oh, it's not just me occasionally. It's them as well. I know, I'm actually going to get you to do your card next because okay. that splits it. And I can wheel out of the way. I may, Kelly hasn't seen how I've made the card, but she's experienced enough to look at it. Thank you. Um, now I'm just going to line this up with the circle that I've embossed. So it's pretty. I thought it needed a little bit of bling. Not that you needed to, but... Otherwise, I'll get reminded you are only human, Anne. Yes, I felt very human. <laughs> and if you had seen me turn white, <laughs> there was a little bit of, oh, no, please, no. She was going to blame me, Glenda. I did it's blame my you. my fault. <laughs> Actually, you know, Glenda. <laughs> So she knows me and you. So she knows <laughs> that perhaps that was a tall story. I don't know. So I'm just putting some random bling. Now I'm using the Iridescent Pearls Basic Jewels. I think they're actually retiring or have retired, but they're just perfect for this. And why are we putting them in a patch of three? Oh, why are we do? Well, Kelly, thank you for asking that. We're doing a patch of three because... For design principle, three or, or odd numbers makes it um, is more pleasant, pleasing to the eye. Uh, and you put them in a triangle um, because it looks funny in a line. So, but you, there's a lot of different ways um, that you could do this. Now, I've just got a stamp in the middle. So I've got a happy birthday also from the um, Pansy Patch stamp set. So I kept this pretty simple. Yep. Thank you. So it, I've, I've used the happy birthday and wishing you um, a little extra. Audio. So there's my card. So there's design number one. Easy. Now you didn't have to use an embossing folder. I just used it because I wanted to. But you could have kept this quite plain. This is one of those cards until you finish it and add the sentiment, which could have been circle, could have been any shape at all. You could have used a trimmer and cut out a square as well, and it would still work. And I've just lined up that in the center of this piece, which is also what makes it visually attractive. So Kelly, I will shift out of the way. Um, I'll put this card over here. She's done a great job. She's cleaned up. I think you're going to have to come more often. Well, I might be able to now that I'm closer. Adio. <laughs> yes. So, Sharon, I can do that. You you start. They're, they'll walk away on me if I okay. If we have no live action. So do I have to do what you did? So there's the card. Okay, there's our toes that we're going to use. Now, I have changed this up a little bit, Kelly, because I cut these into strips and then I realised what a waste of time that was. You have your chair oh. and I'll move in. So oh. we're going to use Hooray for Surprises. Let's get that actually down where we can see that. Fantastic. 
And what other stamp set are we using? That's just it. Yeah, these are the. Um, oh no, we're what? using. Where's the celebrate from? The celebrate is from here. Ah, this one. The happy. Here we go. Happy, happy little, little things. things. And also, so the celebrate and also the little things all comes from there. And then this is the insert in the card. All right. Okay. So we're going now, to use. I'm with card both. Yes, but we're using the, this is brand new, this is Sneak Peek, Kelly. Oh, Sneak Peek. Yeah, I'm not sure I can show you, but it is called the Country Woods, Country and Woods. I love it. So do you want to show them both so sides? This one has a brown on the back of it. So it's all wood grain. This but one I love it for has a white, white on the back of it. Oh, I've got another brown one. has a... It's like a coppery almost color on the back but it's not actually metallic um this one looks like a pine and then it's got a green this is my one of my favorites Ooh, i, like I that. love that I like it's that got one. a bit of color to it this one's nice too i like that and it's got a gray weathered on the back of it and then that's the green one we just had and this blue one has the stripes that I we're going that, that we're yeah. going to use on it yeah that paper is going to be first done. Now the colours in this is Basic Beige, which is a new colour, Kelly. They've just brought out Basic Beige. Basic Beige. Hard to say. Say that. Basic really. Beige, Basic Beige, oh, Basic she Beige. Can. I can't. <laughs> basic Grey, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Grey Granite, Misty Moonlight, Pecan Pie, Petal Pink, Pool Party is that. Color the there. Pretty green in it. Yeah. Um, and smoky slate and wild wheat. So lots of colours. And Glenda, was it someone said Myrtle said she loved the mail card. Glenda said she liked, I think, the yellow and blue from the um previous card. Um, these are great background DSPs. The papers look great. I mean, this is also perfect. I hope it works, scrapbooking. I hope it works, I hope it works. Might have to rock it a little bit. That should be fine. Look oh, at beautiful. that. Yay. It is a really good stamp. I think I've done it before, do you think? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't mean that you don't get a little nervous when you haven't done it for a while. Now, I will say, Kelly, just as a reminder, this is quite a flexible stamp set. Mm -hmm. So you can actually get it quite crooked without okay. meaning to. So, so line I always, it up with the lines. So you show us how you would do it. Okay. So these lines are wiggly, so I'm going to go on the black and white. Can you see me down here on the black and white? Uh, well, see this. This is going to fall off any second. So I would line the, the stamp up with the lines on the board and then pick it up with the block so that it's nice and straight. Yep. It's a great stamp though. It stamps beautifully. So my other stamping is this one here to put the little things on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, just doing the little sentiment down the bottom that is the little things. Oh, hang on. Let's put it up here so we can see what see we're it? doing. Yeah. And that one there. Don't know whether I got him straight, but it'll do. Good enough for me. Actually, it'll be pretty straight. <laughs> Right. Oh, I love this. Tell me about this, Anne. Oh, well, a couple of ladies have seen it, but I got the idea. Oops, I'm forgetting that I'm not in the camera. I got this idea from YouTube, but it actually was it was first invented, if there's such a thing, by devised. I can't even think of her name, but Shelley. Oh, not Shelley. Well, Sarah. Shelley's. Shelley's granddaughter or Sarah's daughter. Oh, I've got the, gotten a name. Got she came up with it. Start with the same says, letter, don't yeah, they? It's, it's Stacy or anyway, I can't remember. And she came up with this idea. And this is just an embellishment, an old embellishment container, but you could use anything with a wider bottom. I just poured some hot glue in there. So I took an entire stick, put the lid in, of a multi-purpose glue beforehand let it set and then every time excuse me i can just screw this in which means then it stays upside down which is what you want 
And if I need to replace it because it's run out, I then just leave the lid in there, obviously, because it's stuck in there forever, and just change the base. Sorry, I'm leaning across. So, I mean, this is the difference between the first card that I did and this one is just a different part of that paper. That, oh, oh, that must be left over. That shouldn't be there. Okay, I still need a card base, hon. Ah, oh, there it is. Right there. That'd be right there. I've got to have to score it. That's all right. We can score it. What measurement am I scoring it at, Anne? Um, four and one eighth, Kelly. Four and one eighth, Anne. Because Anne cuts hers to American sizes. <laughs> no, I cut four mine to inches. <laughs> to inches, and I just cut mine to. I haven't got a hope of telling you. Half the A4. Well, oh, well, yeah, mine won't even be that. There we go. That's Isn't the that front gorgeous, of it. Though, that Can paper. I have the scoring paper piece of Here you go. machinery? Four and one eighth. Four and one eighth. How do I work this again? I'll just stick it, stick under. it up. Ah, look at that. Oh, look, that's how it Ooh, works. So. Four and one eighth. That's an eighth there. Yeah. I'll just bring this down. Right. So they score can see one it. is the light one. Yes. Not this. Keep the dark one out of the way. Yes. Score one there. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Yes, perfect. Move that out of the way. Bone folder is right there. Oh, that no, wasn't perfect. Wasn't perfect. Madeline says, I think we all love the glue holder. Has anyone made it? I actually have a video that I've done, but I'm saving posting it so I go away so that you realise I haven't forgotten you completely. This is uh, this is where the layer went. Yeah. Ha ha, that's where the layer went. I might have got that measurement wrong somehow, but it's working out. So we'll stick that one in. So you can see that this is just the other side of the base DSP that Kelly's now. What is it called again? What's the DSP called? Country Woods, Kelly. Oh, country Woods. <laughs> I, I love it. It's right here. <laughs> country it's Woods. It's just beautiful. And we've got a little quarter inch. Oops. A little quarter inch um, base around there. Scooch it down just a little. That works. And then we more more dimensionals on this one. One, two, three, and four. I do actually have another camera, another light here. Another light. Another do light. I need to another help light. Out. Beautiful. Well, might add a bit of take that away for a second. No, I use my trimmer not. upside down so that the measurements are close to me so that I don't make a mistake. Well, I probably did make a mistake, but let's not tell anybody that's on the back. What did you do? I, I don't know. I scored it at the measurement that you gave me and I'm a quarter inch out. So I'll just pretend that that didn't happen. Oh, I shouldn't have asked you to show me. You know, nobody <laughs> would be wiser. So we but have it's such a beautiful card. So we have card base. We had DSP. We have a layer with the um, dimensionals underneath the cream layer. DSP dimensionals underneath a smaller piece of the DSP, and then card again on the top. I think it should have had another one in underneath there. Yeah. Slight where's, where's the mini ones? Oh, you don't want to find those? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a mini one in underneath there. Right, you show us how you're going to do this. I've got a pokey tool. Oh, this one will work. Somewhere I'm going right. to just poke that up. Oh, no. And I'm even, not even going to take the back off. See, it just sits there nicely. You're Beautiful. my style of crafter. Beautiful. There we go. Looks fine to me like the border width. <laughs> you know it's gonna I'm gonna be obsessing now. <laughs> but it looks great. The there's the, looks there's great. the original with a bit more green. Mine's got the pink and the dark blue on it. Yep. Lovely. Thank you, Anne. Thanks I for know. giving me the opportunity. Easy. Oh, oh you haven't finished. Oh, I gotta do inside. You can't have naked insides. Oh, gosh. That doesn't sound right, does it? <laughs> but you know inside. what I mean. So what colours should this be? Oh, same colour. So it's Misty Moonlight, Misty Moonlight we've been using because the Misty Moonlight is in the DSP. Yeah. Look at 
good thing I know all the abbreviations. Lucky you know what you're doing. <laughs> Wonderful. This is stamps. This is from the Hooray for Surprises. Whoops, sorry. Hooray stamps for it. Surprises. And it stamps beautifully, this one. You're the best. I like that one. Yeah. I like this little yeah. light and the candle. And and a okay. cake. Cake. Yeah. Very cute. Very cute. Yeah, I like that. It's carrying over. Oh, good. So it'll be available. So it's on cord. See, I'm, I've yeah. been listening. Yep. I've been listening. Here, look, I'm even cleaning up my backs. That's, thank goodness for that, because, you know, nothing OCD about me, Kelly. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Not, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Right, they're in the bin oh, now, so they won't go on the floor. cleans up because I'm throwing stuff everywhere now that I'll never find again in my life. Beautiful. Um... Right, I'm going to swap places with you. Lovely. You're supposed to be sitting down. I know. And I better sit down. <laughs> but I might show. I've got, I've done a bonus card. Oh, no. I can't show the bonus card to you at the end, can you? So I'm just sitting down again. Uh, and this camera has moved again. But I think until I pull it all apart tonight and actually secure that screw, it's not going to stay really straight. So this card, I'm well, I did two things for this because I just felt it just needed a little bit more. And so this time I'm using another sneak peek. This time it's called the Unbounded Beauty. How gorgeous are these colours? These are the new colours. So this is, ooh, Splash, Summer Splash, I'm going to guess. Who can help me out? Um, this is oh, having a brain drain. Um, hmm, can't think. Can't think. <laughs> oh, yeah. How about I turn over to the back? That would actually tell me. Oh, yeah. So berry burst, calypso coral, peach pie, petunia pop. That was the one I couldn't remember. Pretty in pink. Shy Shamrock and Summer Splash. I was pretty good with my Summer Splash. Thank you. And pretty um, pretty Peacock. So it's gorgeous. Pretty. It's such pretty paper, as you can see. Uh, it's got textures on the back. This is the Peach Pie. Um, so it's really, really pretty. So I wanted to showcase this paper. So I have kept this really simple. My card base is, as always, except for Kelly's, five and a half, five and a half by eight and a quarter. And um, I've used this piece here, which is the Summer Splash, which is, I think, my favourite, but that always changes, as we know. Um... It is, I now can't remember, three and three quarters, I am pretty sure. I'm very sure. It's three and three quarters. Yep, three and three quarters. And then this, the DSP, is three and a half. So they're both square shapes. I've got them cut out somewhere. Oh, I forgot. I've changed this up because I wanted to show you more paper. Anyway, so you can see what this card will look like. Look like, I added, and we know we can never see this, but I added some Winker Stella to this to add some pop to the flowers, some bling to the flowers, and then I did the envelope as I always do. But it, I just felt it made it look a little special. So I'm changing it up this time. Thank heavens, Kelly's here. Thoughtful. Thoughtful Journey, so it's a brand new designer series paper. I wasn't going to new, use all new ones tonight. It just happened. Look at these. 48 sheets. I think they're 48 sheets, aren't they? I think that's my favourite 48 so far that I've seen in the catalogue. Yeah, it's so, so, so gorgeous. I love the watercolour effect and how they've dropped salt on it and if you give that, that yep. wave there and, yeah gorgeous yeah it's really nice now to get this remember this piece is three and a half inches of course it's three and a half inches i only get one out of each sheet 
I'll use the rest for something else. But if you wanted to get four out of each piece, you just cut it down to three and change your border here. So very simple card. Let's see how simple this is, but it's one of those. This you couldn't get more simple than this, and all quicker. And it's probably the simplest card you can do. What happens though with simple cards is you've got to get your lines correct because they there's nothing to hide them. So I'm not popping this up, I don't think, am I? Where's my I'm pretty sure I didn't. No, I didn't pop it up. Kept it simple. You know, the more times I say something simple, I try and convince everyone it is. <laughs> Doesn't always work. So I make sure this top piece is even border all around. So top and two sides, and then the bottom just leaves. Now I could put another piece. This is Blackberry Bliss. I could put another piece. Um, down the bottom here, the same size in width, uh, add a piece of white and do a sentiment, but I wanted to keep it even simpler. I'm using Happy Birthday. It is gorgeous, um, DSP. So now I will say, you know how I always fix things and I design on the run. I don't have a plan beforehand. So I put the happy birthday up a fair way and it looked a bit awkward. It was oh. up too high. So then I decided how do I fix this? So I added a yay. Fantastic. So I'm going to drop it a little lower. But I think the yay is still going to go in. Someone said I was a slow stamper the other day. Oh, no. You wouldn't say that at all, no. would you? No. Oh, yeah. So I've got a yay here, which is also from the same, same stamp set. And I'll show you the... I'm going to get rid of this before I have a disaster. I'll put it out over there. Do we have anything that matches in the bling? Or do you want to use the pearls that we had before? I might have to use the pearls, I think. Okay, I'll get the pearls. I don't. There. Oh, you put them away. You did I well. Did. Oh yeah, so how gorgeous is that? It just looks amazing. Now, the stamp set I'm using is, this is a new stamp set called Simply Said. I think it's a, it's not an expensive stamp set, to be honest. In fact, it's very reasonably priced. I can't remember the thing, what the actual cost, but I think it's only $35. But it's got really nice sentiments. And they're ones that you will use all the time. So they're ba our basic sentiments. I've already, I keep jumping to this one because I love that font that keeps it really simple. So I'm going to open this up and I've got a Let's Celebrate. I'll bring this back. I've kept this pretty simple on the inside. Didn't add anything else. So there's my card. I'm going to add a little bit of bling before I get into trouble. I've lost all my... Yeah. Oh, right out. Here's my take a pick tool. So you can see why I absolutely loved this paper. Now, for those who might struggle with adding bling, don't go outside my natural line there. And again, I'll just keep it really simple, keep it to the basics. So whilst I finish off this card, what do you think of my three best ever? But I've got one more card. Oh, the bonus, she's already there. Oops, I just went outside the line. You know how I said don't? Mm. That's why you don't. I think it looks lovely. Oh, you like it out there? I do. Oh, radio. See, there's no such thing as a mistake. Um, I've got one bonus card because all the cards that I used used up designer series paper. Now this was a favourite and this was a favourite. So I had a choice of, you know, my favourite papers. But, oh, I haven't, didn't show you the stepped up one, did I? Oh, yeah. um, this is, I mean, I love this paper, but it's not a favourite. 
but it still comes together and you will have lots of paper like this around that will match but it's not one that is you know you've still got left over so it's perfect for that so I've got these here you're going to vote on which card but I've got a bonus card because all these use paper so the star of the show was designer series paper and I just decided that we we're a stamping company. <laughs> so we needed to do a really simple card that was stamp was only stamped and kept really simple. Now this took two minutes. Oh, actually it took about five minutes procrastinating and then two minutes actual stamping. So I'll shift these out of the way so you can actually see. So I've just used the magnolia mood with mood stamp set which is an online exclusive only found in my online store and have a look at this i mean you couldn't get more simple but more classic and it will work for anything now i chose to uh, cut down well not cut down to go to our note cards and envelopes because i think they're the most economic way of getting envelopes and cards and it was the perfect size for this. And of course, I, you know me, you can't have naked envelopes. Well, I try not to have naked envelopes. But how gorgeous is that? Super, super simple. The sentiment comes from the same stamp set. This is just classic. I didn't use basic black. I didn't, yeah, didn't use memento black. I used the basic grey because I felt it just added gave the texture a little more subtle finish. So they're my four cards. It's what colour? Oh, thank you, Sharon. Yes, I just told you what colour. It was a, a basic grey. And if you wanted to, you could use your coloured pencils yeah, or your markers yeah. to, to colour it up if you wanted to. I think this, you could certainly, for me, I'd do it in a, on really light colours. I wouldn't, it's mm. too classic to do so, any so. of the dark, yeah. So like soft sea foam, something like that. Um, now, I missed showing you. This is the stepped up version of this one. Now, I know this card looks nice, but this is more, I suppose, my favourite because I love the DSP and it's flowering zinnia. How gorgeous is that? Again, I embossed it. I'm hoping you can see that. And I use the zinnia in 3D embossing folder. So, I mean, this is my favourite. But this is a way of using up the cardstock that you, well, your DSP, that may not be your absolute favourite. So I'm bringing the cards back. Um, and this one here, is this measurement the same as this measurement? No, this one's three inches by five. This one's two and a half inches. So if you cut a strip of three inches off your 12 by 12, you could cut that down out of the same strip and use the other side. Yeah, so easy. it's quite economical. Yeah. yeah. Then we've got this gorgeous card that Kelly made. And I think, oh, and this one. So if I gave you a choice of, and this one I'm sneaking in an envelope to make it harder for you. Whoops. I don't so which is your favourite? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. Lynette loves all our cards, Kelly. <laughs> she, she's a very um, diplomatic. diplomatic person. What's everyone else think? Um, what's your mum think or did she hang up on you? I don't know. She's probably still hanging around. <laughs> four, of course. Yeah, I do like that one. Oh, Sue Kearns, who you yeah, know, yeah. she's a she's, she's gone four. Yeah, <laughs> oh, so, oh, three. Oh, I, I do like this I one like as that well. DSP, yeah. But these are ones that you could replicate so easily and use what you have at home, which is what tonight was yeah. about. So come in the picture, Miss Kelly. Whilst we wait a minute, got a not that one. This one. I don't. So here we go. So thank you for joining us tonight. Um, I'm just seeing if anyone else, three and five. Oh, Margaret was there. She's going oh, lovely. Number three. three. You didn't pick your daughters, Margaret. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Let's not, let's not break up the family over this. 
Um, Marianne Love Number One. Right. Yeah. Your colors. And Glenda like number one. And number five. So there's a, look, there was all of the cards I think were a little bit of a success tonight, even though the technology was not as much of a success. So Dad was here as well, Kelly. Hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Dark. Lovely of you to join us. And thank you, Kelly, for dropping in and thank making you. my day. Thank you for giving me a bed for the night. <laughs> and crafting, making you work. Be crafting girl, is that what? I don't know. But helping me as well. And you always add, um, having someone to craft with is always the joy, I think. And so it's been such a pleasure. And I think the ladies have liked having someone else for me to be cheeky with <laughs> they do see me and christine being fairly cheeky so they are there's no surprises in it but thank you very much thank you for and me. thanks everybody so much if you like this video oh this live can you like uh, whether you're on youtube or on facebook can you like it and let us know so then i know which which ones you like and also um what else if you want to see more of these um, sorts of projects, and there's always a wide variety that I showcase, um, like my page or like my channel, and then you'll keep getting updated as I add more. Now, whilst I'm, because Kelly, I'm going away in a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. and I'll be away for a little while, I will have some videos, fingers crossed, save that I will upload that you will be able to follow me they won't be lives but they will be recorded videos and unless you subscribe you won't get to know them because they won't I won't be doing the ad uh, at marketing that I currently do on these so thanks everybody it's been a lovely night I've enjoyed it thank you so so much you're a pleasure you're always a pleasure to interact with <laughs> and you've been a pleasure to have here now now she can, you know, the bed that she's earned, she can she can go. She hasn't even had food yet. I haven't <laughs> even had food. She's probably starving. She's probably going to weak, go weak on me. Anyway, thanks, everybody. Loved having you. And sorry again. And thanks for your patience about the technology issues that. <laughs> she did. She did. It was all her. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs>